Several command line programs are available in Linux to hash text or files. We'll take a look at a few of these. To start with, we need some text to hash. We can use a command like echo to echo out text. But in hashing, it's important to be careful about invisible characters that might be present in the material to be hashed because it produces radically different results if even a single character is different than what's expected. So if we take a look at the word hello that was echoed out, we'll actually see that there's six characters. It's H, E, L, L, O, and then finally a line feed. So there's an extra character in there. It was actually implied when we echoed hello here on the original line because we can see that after the word hello the command line broke down to the next line. Maybe confusing that the 0a is, does not appear last in the line of hex dump just because this computer is using the little Indian format. So the characters within these blocks are read from right to left. That's H-E-L-L-O line feed. To suppress this extra character, the line feed, which if you're using a Windows system will be carriage return line feed, we can use the dash n option. We can see that when we output it with the dash n option that the line feed character is not present. Now if you're simply hashing a file or hashing text in order to verify later on that the file was not changed this information is not important, but if you're trying to reproduce an exact hash of, for example, a password, then it's important not to let extra characters get into the hash. So now we can take a look at some of the hashing algorithms. We'll go ahead and start with MD5. The program MD5SUM, available in many Linux command lines, including Debian, Kali, Ubuntu, and Samurai, we'll do an MD5 hash of whatever, whatever is passed to it. This can be done on text that's passed in via standard command line or you can also hash files. Notice that the output of MD5 is not just the MD5 but also the name of the file that the information came from. The dash here in the first example represents standard input, which is true. We piped it in from the echo command. In the second example, it's more obvious that the file name was file.txt. So we'll go ahead and continue this example with the SHA-1. And SHA-1-SUM is the program that will produce the SHA hash, again the same way, the hash first, and then the file name second, in this case standard input. We can see that the SHA hash is longer than the MD5. The SHA output is 20 bytes while the MD5 is only 16. We can continue with the SHA-256 and the SHA-512 and these respectively will have the 256 bit output and the 512 bit output. All else being equal, the longer hash sizes are much stronger than the shorter hash sizes. It's not that it takes so much longer to generate the longer hash sizes as it's much harder to brute force the longer hashes as there's many more possibilities that could have gone in to creating the hash.